we are gathered here, Lord, may you minister to us, may you minister to our hearts, may you minister to our needs, O oh God. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Majabu Yesu Ame Panya Majabu Ame Panya Ame Panya Majabu Ame Panya Ame Panya Majabu
Jesus, thank you, Lord. I have to pick my copy of Jesus. Hallelujah. My copy of Jew. Wakusifiwa, wakuabudiwa, niwewe tu, mungu wa miungu. Wakusifiwa, wakuabudiwa, niwewe tu. Wakusifiwa, wakuabudiwa, ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu. Wakusifiwa, wakuabudiwa, ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu. Haya pigi ya buwana makopi, shangilia, aleluya. Wakusifiwa, wakuabudiwa. Ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu Wakusifiwa, wakusifiwa, wabudiwa Ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu Ni wewe tu, baba Mungu wa miungu, aleluya Mungu wa miungu, ni wewe tu, buwana Mungu wa miungu, ni wewe Mungu wa miungu Kama wewe Yesu Mungu wa miungu Mungu wa miungu Ni wewe tu buwana Mungu wa miungu Ni wewe Mungu wa miungu Ni wewe tu Yesu Mungu wa miungu Mungu wa miungu Ni wewe tu baba Mungu wa miungu Wakusifiwa, wakuabudiwa, ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu Wakusifiwa, wakuabudiwa, ni wewe tu, mungu wa miungu Ni wewe tu, yesu, mungu wa miungu Mungu wa miungu, ni wewe tu, baba Mungu wa miungu, 
Bwana Mungu wa miungu Mungu wa miungu ni wewe tu Bwana Mungu wa miungu Mungu wa miungu Hallelujah Hallelujah Hata tunapo mwambia ngumo na ugozi ilo mwisho kelela Mwata ningai wakwa kumo kia mbelelia Dole watika neri anunga tashaku Oma jitagera na ota ni mwinge Kumo na ugozi ilo mwisho kelela Eni mwata ningai wakwa kumo kia mbelelia Dore wati nganeri ya tukata shaku Oma nitagera na ota ni mboige Kumona ugochi logo shokelela Eni kumona ugochi logo shokelela Kekele ya tukata shaku shoi magara Ota boro kietye moko igoru reao Kumona ugochi logo shokelela Silo gusho kelela Kendere adukata Shakusho imagara Otamoro kete Moko igoru reao Kumona ugo Silo gusho kelela Eni le une menye Te ole ole inya moinge Weta wate oba Mone ne waita Ale weto hore Ye mati otawo Kumona ugo Silo gusho kelela Ole ole inya moinge Weta wote oba mone ne waita Alea weto hore inye mati otawo Kumona ugochi logo shokelela Eni kumona ugochi logo shokelela Kedere adukata shakusho imagara Otaboro kete moko igoru reao Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Those that are our visitors, my names are Bishop Dr. Patrick Mutegi Ridili. I love Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Uh, even for those who are watching us from various places of the world, in this nation, uh, uh, in this county, uh, you're watching us from Europe, you're watching us from USA, you're watching, us, you're watching us from Asia. You're watching us from Australia. Uh, know that we love you. And uh, we are praying for you. And we welcome you uh, in sharing in this communion uh, service. As we continue on sharing on this major, one of the major keys 
that is a key that is called hope in God. Come on, all of you say hope in God. Come on, say hope in God. Yes, hope in God, not on anything else. Because you can have hope uh, in very many things. And you omit that where you are hope, there is no hope. Things have gone the other way around. There are, there are, the things have gone down. Things have sunk where you thought they will not sink. But let us know that our hope is in the Lord. Oh, the month, this month of uh, uh, November, it is uh, God, your altar, and your sacrifice. I would like us to read some scripture so that we can be able to take all communion and then we continue on the remaining part uh, of uh, hope as uh, the, the, the key to enter or to assess the kingdom of our Father. Let's go to Genesis 15. We will read verses 8 to 12 and then verses 17. Then we shall go to uh, the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verses 12. But Abraham said, O oh, Sorem Lord, how can I know that I shall gain possession of it? You remember, he is now talking of so that the Lord may confirm, may guarantee the hope. Let's continue. So the Lord said to him, Bring me an Ava, a goat, a ram, each three years old, along with a dove and a young pigeon. Abraham brought all this to him, cut them into two, and arranged the halves opposite each other, the bands, however, in the not cut in half. The bands of prey, listen here, this is the word for this man. The, the bands of the prey came down on the carcass, but Abraham drove them away. Tell your friend, God, you are your altar and your sacrifice. Face him or her, Mambie, God, your altar and your sacrifice. Let's continue. As the sun was setting, Abraham fell into a deep sleep, and a thick and undreadful darkness came over him. 17. The Lord said to him, No, for certain that your descendants will be strangers in a country not their own, and they will be slaves, and uh, they will be slaves and ill treated for a hundred years. 18. When the sun and the set, you remember uh, 12, 12 darkness came, uh, and then this man fell asleep. And then, this is what happened. A smoking brazier with a brazing torch appeared and it passed between the pieces. Let's go to Philippians chapter 2 verses 12. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. There are people that are Christians in the presence of other Christians. Much more in my absence. What should we do? Continue to work out your with fear and trembling. I say the word of this man is God your order and God your 
sacrifice. Sacrifice it is salvation. Sacrifice is salvation. Na si wewe umetoa salvation, nani umetoa salvation? Unajua huyu Ibrahim ile sandaka ya ya ya, ya, ya old covenant ni mtu anajitolea lakini hapa tuko na sacrifice ambao iko laid on our altar your altar is your heart and your mind that is your altar you are supposed to guard your mind and your heart and the and the sacrifice sacrifice si wewe ume, umeileta imeletwa na Yesu mwenyewe ameweka hapo ndio iko katika moyo work out Make sure you guard your altar and your mind, your your altar and your sacrifice. You must work out. You must make sure that you guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And God has given you something to guard with. Ame kupea power ya kungandi with. Nini ni hiyo? Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 verse 7. Nini ni hiyo? Hiyo ya kungandi? Yo ya kungad. Yo ya kungad. Ya kungad your mind. You see, you, we are given everything. We are not buying. Everything is paid for us. Philippians chapter 4, uh, verses, verses 7. This is, this, this is how to guard your altar and your sacrifice. Mm-hmm. And God's, God's peace shall be yours that travails state of a soul assuring of a salvation through Christ and so fearing nothing from God and uh, being content with its hardly a uh, lot of whatever so that is that peace which transgress all understanding shall garrison you know, garrison is more than God Gar- garrison ni kunjengewa ni kunjengewa wale ambao wako hapo wanafanya na security garrison ni kitu kimejengwa uh, uh, ya kutolokea garrison ni mahali ya pale majeshi wanakuwa safe therefore the bible has said that uh, uh, shall garrison the peace that you whatever you shall use to guard your altars and and your sacrifice it is the peace of god in christ jesus it shall garrison. I thank God for that word. It shall garrison. It shall guard. Garrisoning is more than guarding. It is a uh, And therefore, this man, brethren, in whatever you shall be, whatever you shall be going through, don't give up your altar. Don't give up your altar to become to become a, a use, you know, thing to be used by the enemy. Guard your heart. Guard it on your heart and your mind with the peace of God. Make sure you work out your sacrifice. Your sacrifice is salvation. And it has been given free. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will guard my sacrifice and my altar. Yes. Make sure that your heart and your mind, which is your altar, they are guarded. That's why the scripture says, guard your heart because it is what? Dio chemi chemi. Ya nini? Ya uzima. That's where you get life. Brethren, as you take the Lord's table this afternoon, Abraham and enemies on the altar where he had, he had built altar ilikuwa yake ya kujenga na wanyama walikuwa wapi walikuwa wanyama wa aina ngapi eh wa aina ngapi ulisahau aina tano there is Eva there is a ram, there is a a goat, there is a dove, there is a pigeon. 
Now, if you are not rich, can you provide that? That's a sacrifice. That's why those sacrifices that God was given, they were different. Kuna wale ambao wange to wanyama. Kwa maana hawa wana wanyama. wanyama. Walikuwa wanatoa nini? Unga. Kile walikuwa wana 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 wanaweka kwa unga ili isinukie mbaya ilikuwa ni nini mafuta ya nyama kwa hivyo ilikuwa haitoshani sacrifices hazikutoshana wale wananjua ile ilitolewa na mfalume uh, uh, mfalume Sulaiman zilikuwa ngombe nyingi sijui ni a thousand sijui a thousand what zilikuwa nyingi lakini hii bwana ametupea inatoshana hakuna mtu ako na nyingi kuliko ile ingine the thing is to God make sure that you act out make sure that your heart and your mind which is your altar uh, and salvation you which is a sacrifice make sure that you work out by chasing enemies you must chase enemies there are enemies that come to eat up that salvation that God has put there. If you go to Songs of Solomon, I think it's chapter 2, verses, verses, uh, verses 15. The Bible says, catch for us the foxes, the little foxes. Now, if you want to go to know those little foxes, if you go to Hebrews chapter 12, I think it's chapter 12, you'll be able to see that. But here the Bible says, catch for us. So you have to make sure there are a lot of things that can catch. Hata hii unaona tunashughulikia hapa. Unaweza kushughulikia ufie njiani. You may not be able to slow down. What unashughulikia mambo, unakuchi kanisa. Unanjua, people, let me tell you, this is an hospital. Some of you get sick. Uh, some of you get sick, then go to hospital. But when you when when uh, you when you get things that hinder you from coming to church, you don't come to church. And some of us have died physically. You must know how to catch. There's more foxes that the little foxes that ruin the family out uh, our finance that are in blossom. You must guard. Make sure that you catch those small foxes. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great crowd of witnesses, let us throw off every, everything that hinders us. The sin that so easily entangle us. Run with the perseverance. The race that marked, marked out for us. Yes. Verses 2. Facing our, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of, my, of, of the Father. Consider, he, consider him so enduring such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Uh -huh. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. Mm -hmm. and, have you, uh, and have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father and addresses his son? It says, my son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you. Now, the Bible has said that uh, fixing our eyes, there are those things that entangle us. You remember verses 1? Those sins easily entangle us. They easily entangle us. If you go to uh, to uh, to uh, Galatians chapter 5 you will get them i do not want us to go there 
you, you will get them by name. There are 17. And the Bible says, and much and many others. That means they are not. Ambia Manzako, guard your sacrifice and your altar. Yes, even what, even what you are going through, even the struggles we are going through, our families, sicknesses, we are going through a lack that uh, we do not know what to do. We, especially some of us who have teenagers now at home, there is no school. This is the, this is the time we know the importance of teachers. There are things that we are going through, but brethren, let they should not overcome us. Some of us, you have more time with your husbands and, uh, and, and your spouses. You do not know what to do with it. These are things. But brethren, let us not allow these small things. These sins that look, they, they should not be able to eat our, uh, 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 you know, our inner side because that one is much, much more valuable. This month, let us guard. Let us guard our altars and sacrifices. Our altar is the mind and the heart. Our sacrifice is the salvation that has been given to us. With fear and trembling, let us work on it. Nothing should deter us. Whatever we are doing, whatever we are saying, wherever we are going, let us remember, praise the name of the Lord. We are born again. We believe. We, we belong to a nation. We belong to a citizenship where nobody else can take us. We can be able, we can be able to look and challenge even when things are getting worse. Because we have guarded at, your, at the place of your business, at the place of your work, in your own place. Please, God, work out your own salvation. Do not let the enemy For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why many among you are weak and hell, and a number of you are falling asleep. But if you, if we were more discerning with regards to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Nevertheless, when we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned by the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you gather to eat, you should all eat together. Anyone who is angry should eat um, something at home so that when you meet together, it may not uh, result in judgment. And when I come, I will give further instruction. Now, uh, I have been telling you once and again, what was happening is that people were coming with their own wines and bread. And some of them were, you know, and more than the rest, there was no order. Paul and to put order. That's why we normally read there so that we may know why we do what we do, and what was there before earth. Now, the blood and the 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 the, the, uh, the, the blood and the body of Christ. It is not for condemnation. It is not for judgment. Now, it is only telling us what was happening in the church of Corinthians. There was 
a lot of this honor. That's why uh, honor was brought in. So that uh, now, if it is eating bread, bread is at home. In that evening, as they were about to take supper, he took bread and after he gave thanks, he broke it and said, eat for this is my flesh indeed. It is true food. This is the bondage that I give unto you. Father, I thank you because you gave your own body to us. You gave your own to us, O oh Lord. And therefore, we are here. We are receiving because of what you gave. And you said, do this for the remembrance of me. Blessed as we take it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because of the new covenant. And wherever you meet, may you do this for the remembrance of me. Father, I thank you. For this is your blood that was given on Calvary for the sake of us all. Dear Lord, as we celebrate this cup of Eucharist, Lord, heal us. Lord, heal us. Oh, Lord, heal our lives. Heal our hearts. Heal our lives. Heal our families. Heal our businesses. Heal our relationships. Heal, dear Father, and take us out of every confusion. For the glory and honor of your name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus, 
Lord. I give you a special anointing. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you because, Lord, you are so gracious. You have never forgotten us. Gospel Celebration Church, we are so excited to have such a God. Lord, even when others are going through trials and snares, Lord, my Father, you have taken through Whatever we have been going through, Lord, we have not lost direction. We have not lost focus. Jehovah God, my Father, of our hearts and our destiny where we are going, everlasting Father. May you be exalted and be glorified forever. Ukainuliwe, ukabarikiwe, na ukatukuzo mirene na mirene. We mawako ukabarikiwe. Jehovah God, matoleo. Ambao Jehovah God, tuwa kupeperusia. Jehovah God, si kwamba. Sisi tukona nyingi ama chache. Ata zile nyingi ama chache tukonazo. Ni wewe umetupatia. Na kwa hivo Jehovah God. Tuwa kupeperusia. Tukisema ya kwamba ukainuliwe. Hata wale wana wana wanaungana pamoja nasi kutoka sehemu mbalimbali Jehovah God wanakutolea sasa mahali waliko wengine wanatumia simu wengine wanatumia wanatumia bank account Jehovah God my father king of glory kutuma matoleo bank account za kanisa zao Jehovah God my father king of glory matoleo ya mpesa Jehovah God katika namba za makanisa yao na hata wale Jehovah God wametuma hapa kwa kutumia namba ambazo zimepeperushwa pale Jehovah God wabariki uainue Jehovah God my father huatakaza na kuwaongezea Jehovah God na kuwa na, na, na kuwaonekania katika kila hali na mali Jehovah God may you receive I want giving Jehovah God with the pleasure and with the joy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You come as you give to the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord see you through. May the Lord do you good. May the Lord shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 To be here, Bona Makofi.